Treasure is not a tale just for the movies. Every day, real life treasure hunters hit the high seas in search of booty, kind of like us on a weekend. Uh, they could be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And here to talk about the world of treasure hunting is the author of Lost and Found, Mr. or actually Captain Tom Williams. Hi, Tom. Hi. Can I call you Captain Tom? You can call me Tom. I'm Tom. All right. I like Captain Tom. We'll call you Tom. Let's, you know, there's a lot of uh, talk right now because of uh, this hidden treasure all over in the world. Uh, some of the, uh, the the ships have been found. Uh, the Spanish shipwreck off the coast of Portugal had $500 million on it. In, in treasure back in 2007, the HMS Victory had four tons in gold in uh, 2009. How are they finding these ships? This is amazing. Well, that's a big controversial issue. Uh, what's going on is, uh, that's the question that's not people are not asking, is how exactly it's being found. Uh, my book, Lost and Found, is a concept of uh, West Texas Oil Company launches a satellite to look for future oil fields. Okay. After a year, it's not working, so they reprogram the satellite. By accident, they find all the lost treasure ships around the world from uh. space with the exact GPS coordinates. It's so fun. This book's gotten 18 reviews from across the country, including a New York Times best-selling author endorsement. Um, I just can't tell you how exciting this is, especially with the timeliness of this book. HMS Victory discovered uh, four tons of gold on board at $1,000 an ounce. Can wow. you imagine that value? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the ship, like you said, off Portugal, 500 million. Question is, how is this being found? Can it be found from space? Maybe the answer is yes. Um, a Google satellite, Google Earth satellite, uh, found a ship reportedly worth three billion off the uh, Arkansas Pass in Texas. Yeah, so. and, and now it's into, into some uh, dispute right now who actually can uh, oh. claim it, right? That's crazy. It's like everybody finds something, someone else says, oh, that's ours. State of Texas says, it's ours. This uh, landowner nearby says, it's ours. Uh, what about finder's fees? Um, yeah. The Spanish government says that the guys that discovered the Spanish galleon are pirates. They actually boarded their ship recently. Uh, the English, when uh, HMS Victory was found, they said, oh, thank you for finding our ship. Um, thank you very much, but we do have a handsome uh, finder's fee for Fine, it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And uh, so right now, I mean, what who, what will actually constitute who owns it? Is, it? is it still up in the air? I mean, is it always after the fact, after somebody finds it? It's constantly up in yeah. the air. In fact, um, there was a judge in uh, Virginia just made a ruling on the Titanic uh, remains saying oh, yeah. that, and she's an American judge saying that a British ship in international waters can suddenly no longer be salvaged. Uh, so that's a huge controversial issue. A lot of people yeah. are really finding dispute with that. All righty. Uh, we also got some shots here. This is amazing technology that you use just to find some of these uh, ships that to go down. Um, this is some uh, pictures here that you had uh, provided for us. You can see that, uh, of course, it takes a big crew to find these uh, hidden treasures. Really neat stuff. And your book, everything's plausible. Everything can happen with these, with the new satellite and the new te and technology. Yeah, absolutely. It's really taken off. And uh, Trish Stevens and Kim McCall in uh, Houston are just back in this like crazy. Okay. They're all over this. And uh, all right. really looking forward to a lot of exciting stuff. All right, so get novel. You want to check it out? You can go to our website, dailybuzznow.com. You can find out more information uh, on Lost Treasure. We'll have more after this.